When you select plan round, you enter the name of the golf course and you come to the first hole. Just like normal in the app, you can move the tee position and the pin position, you can zoom in and out. Next, you have the red target line icon, which you can use to drag to see the distance to certain hazards from the tee and also the distance to the pin. You can also, if you wish, measure the width at certain points simply by moving the red icon on the far right area and move that tee position to the far left and you can see the width there, 52 yards, 77 yards, 90 yards, etc. If you ever want to measure a point to point, you can do it that way. The other good thing with the target line is it can help you pick a particular target. For example, you might look at that far green side bunker or over this first left bunker as your reference point so that when you go to the golf course, you've got a line that you can pick. This is particularly useful if you play a course with some blind shots. You can get a rough starting point on where you need to hit the golf ball. The next thing we can do if we select T dispersion, the club is also defaulted to driver and the date range is the last few months. You can apply that and it will superimpose your shot patterns with that club from that period. We remove some of the big wide shots as they're obviously not relevant for a dispersion pattern. You can move this around and see the outcomes of particular lines. So if I was to aim between those two bunkers in front of me, I can see that I would have a few in the right trees, but generally pretty good. If I was to aim on the left edge of them, I can see none in the trees, a few in the left rough, and so on. I might want to see what my three wood looks like. I can press that and apply. That will load my three wood shot pattern. And again, I can maneuver my target and see what the likely outcomes are for particular lines. Obviously, the more data that you get in, the better. And you've still got to factor in what the ground conditions and the temperature factor is as well for these. If I decide that's where I want to hit the ball to, I can then press the approach tab. That will automatically take a distance range either side of that target I've marked on. I could select the start live I wanted to and press apply. This then loads my approach play shot pattern and I can move it around. I can move the pin position and see, right, if I went straight at that flag, what are my likely outcomes? If I went three yards right of it, what does the pattern look like? If I went middle of the green, what does the pattern look like? You're always looking at the balance between shots that are close and shots that miss the green as well. For example, what you don't want to do in this scenario is aim super safe, everything hits a green, but none of them go very close to the hole. If I went straight at the pin, okay, I might have a couple in a hard miss there, but I'm also getting a lot in close. So it's about balancing that risk and reward. And this is where, when you play a practice round, you need to identify how difficult the misses are. Is that a medium bunker shot? Is it a hard one? Is long of the green easy? Is it hard, etc. And that then affects the targets you will pick. As I've said previously, we're not trying to tell you what to do. We're here to show you what your likely outcomes are and let you make an informed decision.